How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest release video. I'm super duper excited this week. I'm sorry the Dragon Faber video wasn't out yesterday. I'm still trying to figure out the fight but I'm very very close so expect to see it on uh hopefully by tomorrow or by like Wednesday later. So, okay I promise you guys I will give you guys a strategy that you can follow to go ahead and beat the duo. Okay but uh today we are talking about Adventure Quest. Very excited for this release today and the reason why this video came out so late is because i'm trying to wait for as many boxes to open as possible right now we are only uh still waiting on the armor other than that everything else has already opened but the armor should come out by today or tomorrow later so i will do another video covering the armor on uh tuesday as well and then thursday maybe you can do like a full set showcase or something like that or maybe i'll do it on tuesday's video as well okay but before I go through the first few gift boxes, let's go through the end of the delivery wall because there are some items to look over there as well. Okay, the gift delivery finale. I'm gonna skip through all this. Uh, let's just fight as Drake Hef. I think it doesn't matter. 66%. Do we see this cutscene? If they are not here at the human cuts by noon, we have to walk the short ones along. They have to learn to deal with the cold. We can't lose more people to those strange new plate hussars. I'm afraid your friends won't be coming. They had a nasty run-in with some scouts. Those plague hussars you're talking about. Little one, I don't know how you found us, but you speak dangerous words. How do you know this? I met your friends, well, more like companions. I don't think they all like you that way. Stigander can go to the desert and suck on a cactus. That's cheating. Quiet, focus, short one. How do our companions fare? I'm afraid there are a few ways to stop a scourge infection I had to get rid of it. Banners be burned. We knew it was risky, but have we really lost so many already? What of the plague beasts? Burned to ash. I'll send someone to verify this. If you're lying, we'll have our answers one way or another. If you speak the truth, then we will honor your name. Once Khan Breaker and now Hero of the North. If your deeds are true, your pyre will be that of a frost giant. You sound a little too hasty about that. You said it yourself, there are grim few ways to deal with this scourge, but it must be dealt with. You doubtless carry it. After fighting such plague hussars, as could overwhelm a team of giants. Okay, let's see what I have. Two frost giants, okay. Uh, ice, ice necro calf. Shields, what do you have for our ice shield? Uh, oh, I don't have... Let's try the new shield. I'll go through it later. Now we're really just doing the fighting here. Oh, there is 40% chance. Jeez, on 13% ice resist too. That sucks. Okay, fire pet. I guess you can use Void Awakening. Uh oh, this is mana, is it? Okay, uh Actually do let's do Fae instead. Yeah, Fae creature 72. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we even click on it? Yeah. Okay, panic. And let's do power gauntlet. Okay, great. Damage. Ooh, this is so laggy. I think it's cause of this gigantic armor that we are using. Click, click, click. Shadow feeder. Okay, nice. And we can actually use ice though. It's probably better to change it to something else. Let's change it to something else. 110. Oh, nice. Ice is 170 now. Amazing. First freaking try. Awesome. Okay, let's do Prime Chaos off for the damage. Gonna do Decay Breath. Oh, yeah. That is gonna hurt real, real bad. And we can run optical. And let's do chill on thing. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Whew. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> that is freaking crazy. Alright now heal back everything. Nice. We'll heal on all the resource bars. Amazing. Look at the Ellie Vaughn. Alright. Oh. 
Okay, we got dazed over there. That's a bit unlucky. No big deal. No big deal. Goodbye to you. Yep, absolutely wrecked. <coughs> ah! Hate it when that happens. Uh... Change... How do I do that? Oh, okay. Okay, this never works because it always just disappears, but... That's okay. The other said that if I simply showed up and said that I already know your plans, you will panic and take forever to convince. Now that you have some context, I know you're hiding wizards from the mage tower. It's not what it looks like. They want to get away from their leaders and the smaller carnates need help dealing with the wild magic in the north. Unfortunately, there's a crisis they need to help with before they can make the trip. Let them go and come with me. You should see the others and I want to make sure none of you are infected. How did they survive? I offer them another choice. If any of you are infected, you don't have to die. The opportunity is open to you as well. Though it may keep you from home for a long time. Okay. What's going on out there? Whoa, what's going on in here? How are you moving again? You should be out and uh, oof. Ow, Jaws, hold your freaking gryphons. You, you are too big to hide. And how are you supposed to hide from me anyways? Ow, you're just mashing me against the wall. Against walls. Ha, the excess panel. I just need to... There we go. Open the door. But leave security on. I'll finally free myself and get rid of the defective nonsense. I just want to point out the animation in the background. Like, look at all these small details. Very, very nice. I'm always a fan of them uh, giving us more... Uh, fanciful animations as apart from the standard default ones that we always see time and time again those get so boring but this one this really helps to uh, carry the show the storytelling as well as you know provide more like small little easter eggs that you know the players can look around while they are just reading the text which is nice there prepare to meet your maker literally not so brave when it's one on Oh, what in the world? <laughs> One. Um, yes. The creator is so proud of Wait, Why am I trying to appease them? Warlick, a little help, please. See? This is another, like, I think new animation, the scuttling one. I don't think I've seen that before. That's quite nice. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always a fan of animations like these. And I think the stuff did a great job. Ah, Mimic. Okay. Soft damage cap, boss boost. Uh, they also added a new skill here. Did I go through this before? Yeah, I did, right? Okay, celebrity for 385 SP per turn. Boom. And, oh. Poisonous attack. Maneuver out of the sting cloud. Whatever that is. Can you turn this thing off or something? Okay, so yeah, we just spam the normal attack button. Previously it was Pierce. Is it melee now? Oh yeah, it's melee if you do that. Okay. Can you say the failsafe what? Failsafe will make it explode. What are you doing? Guess the failsafe didn't work. I think we are out of gambit for the next round. 30 laundry leaves you poison. You're able to maneuver out the resulting stench cloud. Hmm. Okay. Player water damage. Alright. Now, Gary number, whatever. Have you learned your lesson about unauthorized experiments? The wild storms making such magic unpredictable should be warning enough. Absolutely. If you're going to perform dangerously unpredictable arcane research, do it with your own resources rather than using important facilities for your own concerns. Well, that's a step forward in professional ethics. I mean, no, don't do it unsafely in the first place. Wizards are so bloody weird. I swear to the gods, a couple of years back in court and you forget how much adventuring tests your nose. How do you even make walking furniture sting so much? Oh yes, I hadn't even acknowledged my savior. I'm terribly sorry for my rudeness and thank you so much for the assistance and for not exploding me. And thank you in advance for not telling Master Kynan. It'll all be water under the bridge. As soon as I see that mountain of gold you owe me. As agreed, you're unstuck and finally free to do your business. Yeah, the ship has sailed. Okay. Oh, and you can see uh, the color custom gets messed up as well if you do that. Happy first view everyone. Make merry and rest. I'll find a way to be there for you again. But before then, the next time we meet will be difficult. Oh, here we go. Another new animation for war. I love it. I love that. Alright, so uh, amazing job by the team. Definitely on the finale. I really appreciate the fancy new animations. I hope we continue to see more of that in the future. 
Okay, and for the rewards, <clears throat> which I'm sure is what most of you are here for. So first things first, we have the uh, armor. Okay, so the armor, uh, Trickster's Fang, uh, Trickster's Hide. Okay, so I'll go through them as we do the showcase later, and then Trickster's Fang Buckler. Oops, out of slots. Oh my god, I hope I have enough gold. I, I might run out of gold here. <laughs> okay, let's bring this all the way up. So we have lots of things to go through today, as is with every single Frostville gift box slash delivery release. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Hope you guys are as well. Let's go ahead and buy some slots. Probably need to buy some tokens as well, just to make sure I have enough for the gifting contest. I think I will do another live stream of giving away tokens. I think you guys quite enjoy that. And the AQ live streams are always a big hit. So yeah, I'm going to do it again. Same as what I did uh, at the start of this year. Wait, no, not start of this year, sorry. Back in the summer donation contest last year, which was about half a year ago. So yeah, I think you guys really enjoy that. So I'm going to be doing another live stream for that. Definitely want to stay tuned. Uh, it will probably be on the last day of Donos. Let me go ahead and check the date on that. Oops. Let's bring this up first. What's the last day of Donos? Am I going to be at home or not? 31st. Ooh, that's going to be a work day for me and it's a work in office day. Uh, I think I'll probably take leave on that day. Yeah, I think I should. Uh, I'll take leave on that day so that, you know, I can go ahead and play the event with you guys. And the first year 2023 painting for 2000 tokens i think i have to pick this up because i am a collector after all and just in case you want to go back and play this there's also the trickster faces oh these are for tokens but oh damn uh these look pretty nice i think i'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10 not bad not bad and then you have your war waves for those who finish the war okay so i didn't do any so i'm not going to be able to buy any of them but dragon prince Wow, that's a pretty cool name. Okay. <coughs> now, for the part you've all been waiting for, going through the item rewards. Okay, so first of all, let's do the shield first. Uh, Trickster's Fang Buckler, and then we'll do the armor, Trickster's Height. Ooh! Oh, wow! Holy moly! That is cool, dude. That is super cool. Like, did you see that? Let's do that again. Like, wow. First the Mimic drops down and then you transform out of that. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. Okay, let's go through the shield first. The shield, Trickster's uh, Fanged Buckler. Okay, it's a wind shield. Mastercraft effect is you can toggle it to activate Trickster's Invigoration Mode. While active, the shield will check if the enemy attempted an attack on you during their turn. The first time the enemy attempts an attack on you, the shield deducts... Uh, how many SP? Let me see, 88 SP, okay. And for that attack and the rest of the enemy's turn, you will heal uh, something something percent melee each block the attack. This effect can trigger up to 4 times per turn. So it's a percentage of hits blocked, I think. So let's go ahead and try it out. Ready to heal when you block attacks. Let's see how much it heals. Oh, okay, our, our HP is full. Right? It heals HP, right? Uh, doesn't mention here. It should be a HP heal then. Alright, let's see how much it heals. 2583. Oh no, that landed. Okay, so that won't heal us. Okay, woo! Wow, that's like 200 to 300? That's actually not bad. Actually not bad. Okay, let me see. Let's turn on the battle lock here. Uh, wait, what? Let me try that again. I didn't see. Shit. It keeps landing the attack. Stop landing the attack, damn you. Uh, it doesn't say. Does it say? No, it doesn't say the heal here. Why not? Am I blind? Okay, he failed. Yeah, it doesn't show the heal here. What the heck? 
Okay. Uh, apparently it doesn't show the heal, but uh, it's about two to three hundred, which is not bad. Let's test this out against something that uh hits a bit harder. Okay, so the battle log is useless. Guess you have to watch it with our own eyes. Let's start. <clears throat> How are you going to be able to avoid the attack? 64, 63, 63. Maybe not. Uh, let's look at what the armor has first, shall we? Okay, so the armor... The armor is Trickster's height, so it's a fully offensive uh, wind armor. Oops. I'll take away the shield. So it has 50 for MRM as the base, 39% to win as the primary resist. Secondary resist is pretty bad, doesn't really have any. It's light and ice at 67%. That's definitely not usable. And then you have your energy, water at 74, 82 for fire and darkness. And opposite is going to be earth at 90. Mastercraft gives you minus 6.625% uh, heal resist, making healing more potent. This is less than the nickel clad shield. Since the armor itself has a skill that can heal, you also pays minus 3 MRM to compress 3 skills. <coughs> Excuse me. First skill, Trickster's Gambit. So it's a toggle. It charges 59 SP per turn. Causing enemy attacks to have minus 9 BTH and each of your strikes from weapon special or spell attacks that attempt to inflict a minus 5 BTH lean berserk status on the enemy for four turns this inflicts with weapon main stat over luck versus mobs charisma over luck this has minus 20 penalty to the save sp cost is paid after the first attempted hit each turn from either you or the enemy if neither of you attempts a hit in the round no cost is paid let's try and do that <coughs> excuse me So we got minus 3 Berserk. Hmm, interesting. Does it stack? I wonder if it stacks or not. Let's try something in more hits. What is more hits? I don't know. Uh, Mandate? I think Mandate is only 2 hits, right? Or 3 hits. Oh, minus 15 is the max. I guess minus 15 is the max then. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, that's fine. Second skill. Trickster's Reach. Okay, weapon base skill, 175% melee baseline instead of 200%. Lock to range win. 100% melee of that damage goes to damage. The remaining goes to HP healing. Healing is based on expected player attack and is worth uh, hits attempted over hits connected times armor offensive mod melee. Bonus, if you're fighting a monster with at least normal power, then the first time you use this skill, the 75% above is replaced by 70% and with a 25% percent chance of receiving one health potion Ooh, so this is similar to the skill from drake have wow that's nice 41 sp okay uh let me go ahead and use the shield let's toggle on the shield <coughs> only 41 sp okay uh that's pretty cheap okay oh but it's win so i don't think it will do anything let you catch a second win uh, does it heal? Let's see. 2721. Oh, it heals the enemy, so it doesn't do anything. But uh, the shield is also healing us HP, so that's not bad. Let's try against something that's not a win monster. Wait, does this work? Level 135? Uh, maybe you try something harder? No, no. What's it? Oh, the level 135 monsters. God damn. Give me a level 150 one. Oh, level 108. Disgusting. And it's black. I swear to god, every time I want to do Tessus, uh, they give me this kind of rubbish. Okay, fine. Finally, something good. Shara, Naga, Baba, Yaga. And this one does a lot of hits, so that'll be awesome for us. 2477. Okay, let's do Trickster's Reach. Uh, win is 120%, so this will be good. Ooh, okay, plus 90. That's actually not very strong, but uh, keep into account, it's very, very cheap. 41 SP, and you can have a chance of stealing a potion. Oops, none of it landed. That's kind of bad. Trickster's Reach again. Oh, 
freaking hell. Every single time, I swear to God, I want to do a showcase. It give me, gives me this kind of bullshittery <sighs> game. Freaking game. Again, I really shouldn't be using this weapon, but it's the default weapon, you know. I just can't be bothered to change. And then it gives me this kind of rubbish. Ah, oh, oh, that was annoying. Come on. 120. What the hell? Bro, really? <clears throat> Seeker. No, no, no. Not a guardian. Get out of here. Finally, level 150. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, you do that. Okay, 2417. Okay, so it's about 100. It's about 100. For 41 SP and a chance to get another health pot, which is actually pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah, it's about 100 for 51 SP, so that's actually not bad. And it's minus 15 BTH, so that's also nice. Let's see. Please miss. It's not missing though. Yeah. Okay, maybe we need to do something else to help it miss more. Do we have any... Uh, We don't have any dodge items in this build. Okay, that kind of sucks. No, I don't have it anymore. Yeah, this guy is landing all the hits. Okay, but... Uh, you guys get a rough idea. I think it's not bad. For the 1 SP, about 100 HP heal. So you're definitely getting some value there. And there's also a small chance you can get extra health pots, which is nice. So that's good. Fix the switch. Let's do that again. Okay. Bam, he does that. Combo up. Woo! Okay, these guys seem to want to hit me a lot. Maybe I need to put in some dodge items in this build. So this is obviously meant for dodge. Uh, if it wasn't obvious enough already with the BTH, uh, with the Berserk negative BTH as well as, you know, the shield healing you on the dodge. So it's basically dodge shield, but for HP. I think it's uh, a little bit better than what we have in the past, but I still think it's, it could be a bit stronger. But of course, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and do... <coughs> Excuse me. Where in the world is my big dictionary? Is it all the way at the bottom? Am I blind? It's big dictionary. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's use this. So this should help in the blocking a little bit. So you can better see the armor. Maybe you're bringing a dodge pad as well. What's what's the dodge pad that I have? I could use the bunnies or I could use pig drake. Let's just do pig drake. Zardis. Okay, this one has a lot of hits, so I think it'll be good to showcase that. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, big dictionary, cast that. Uh, Panoply, yep. Relax your stance and stop taunting your foe, you big meanie. Lamau. <coughs> Let's spend some SP. Let's see how much he can heal us by. Okay, I'm gonna go for like 2000. 
Let's see what's the total heal. Okay. Oh my lord. Wow. That was literally over a thousand HP heal. Crazy. That is crazy, guys. Whew. Okay, I stand corrected. The shield, the shield is amazing. Yeah, I stand corrected. If you are facing something with many hits, the shield is just nuts. Wow. Amazing, amazing shield. Now for the last skill. Multifarious Mastery. <clears throat> Locks your weapon attacks to melee win. This affects bows and wands too and gives the appropriate spell like boost for the early lock. And after your first attempted weapon hit, so bows wands will still work if you do not currently have celerity on you and you have enough SP, you will pay 100% melee in SP and grant yourself and your miscellaneous item. Oh, okay, very weird. One time of celerity. This can happen once per round and if you already have celerity, you still have your attacks locked to melee win but don't pay the SP cost or gain celerity. Finally, if using both the shield and one of the weapons from this set, enemy attacks have a further minus 6 VTH. Nice, so 392 SP. And this is supposed to be a ranged lock, not a melee lock. Okay, uh, quite a few hits. How many hits is this? Wait, what? Oh, this is a 1, 2, wait. 1, 2, 3? Is it 3? What do I keep missing? Shouldn't be missing, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. I think it's 4 hits. Yeah, 4 hits. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. And people are basically calling this the Ranger H series, okay? Uh, after using the armor on my own, I think I will sort of have to disagree. Like, I, I did want to call it the Ranger H series for this video just because it would be funny and because it would piss off a certain someone. <laughs> But uh, after using the armor on my own, uh, I do agree that it's not exactly Ranger H series because it's only one skill. And the top two skills, they are pretty different from the H series skill. So I I really don't think it's fair to call it the Ranger H series. Yes. Yes, uh, but you know, uh, I am, you know, basically on that guy's side for this. But uh, I have to be fair, you know, and this is what I truly feel. I don't think it's a Ranger H series at all. It doesn't certainly doesn't feel like it. It's more of a dodge armor with like the celerity built in. And I think that's really cool, though. Only giving celerity to yourself and your miscellaneous item. That's a little weird and uh, unique. Not something we've seen before, but uh, not bad, not bad. Overall, I think the shield is really, really good. The armor is also not bad for sure. Uh, the heal on this is very low, but of course, this is basically a spammable skill. It's only 41 SP. And then the first one giving you minus 15 BTH on your attacks. That's actually decent though. It's kept at minus 15. I do wish that they will increase the total amount more. You can keep stacking this. As you can see, it's 9 rounds already, but... I wish uh, the minus 15 cap would be increased. That would be even better. And then the last skill, the last skill giving you celerity. I think that's very nice. And because it will be eventually locked to range, they are going to fix this soon. Okay, uh, It's really shaping up to be a powerful, fully offensive armor for rangers. And I really uh, dig that. Even though there's nothing for me as a mage, I think this is a good armor. And the shield is of course very good. Highly recommend all of you guys to go ahead and pick up this set i think is certainly worth the money okay before it goes away so quickly go ahead and pick it up also the quest takes like what five ten minutes to complete max very very fast okay uh now on to the dono items okay the dono items i'm sure you guys are all very excited for that that's the pet okay uh armor is not out yet shields Winter Ward Stone Weapon, we have the, let's try out the Magic Weapon, ooh, oh my god, wow, it's like spinning puff balls or something like that, it's actually very cool. <laughs> okay, we'll use a neutral armor for this, okay, so let's go through them one by one, the pet, uh, wait, no, shall we go through the pet first or what? No, okay, uh, let's go through them in the order that they were released, okay, first up is the shield, Winter Ward Stone, so ice shield compresses a single Compresses a toggle that charges uh, 98 
SP the first time each turn the enemy attempts an attack on you for that strike and each strike in that turn anytime you are hit you attempt to inflict a one turn uh, damage taken early round versus fire and ice this inflicts with weapon may stack over luck versus the enemy's endurance over luck this can trigger up to four times per turn so any round for both fire and ice that's actually pretty good okay so we'll go ahead and do that okay no early round okay because the enemy failed to hit us maybe you should go against something yeah let's go against something that is uh, actual mob instead because i think you guys want to see that more right night raider i think these guys can hit us Hit us, hit me, hit me, come on. Maybe I'll take away the pet first. Is it too weak? I think it's too weak to give us a leave on. Okay, we'll go for something stronger. So this is quite similar to Chopo Shield. Okay, except it's fire and ice only. Okay, ever lurch. Uh that will work, I think. No? Oh wait, I need to click on it. I'm dumb. Okay, 98 SP per turn. Oh my god. And Diod. Oh, come on. And Diod again. Wow. That is unlucky. Tetzad. Okay, maybe this one will work. There we go. Okay, so 163% because there's 3 hits. For fire and ice alley round. So Chompo Shield as you guys know. Very very strong offensive shield. People are calling it the new. Uh, the new Chieftains Anton. And you know this is pretty similar. So all in all the shield is amazing. I love another Chompo Shield. And people have been asking for different element Chompo Shields for quite a while. The original Chompo Shield does cover fire. But ice alley round is something new that we don't have yet. And the original Chompo Shield is 0 turns. Whereas this is like uh, 1 turn. So I think. This is... I don't know if this is better or worse, honestly. Does it stack? Let me see. <clears throat> how, how does it stack? I think it only stacks the numbers. Okay, it gives it another another second line like that. It doesn't combine it into one line unless uh, it's all happening on the same turn. So all in all, it's a very, very good shield for sure. Now, let's check out the spell. Abominable Frostbite. This is an ice spell that deals no damage. Instead, it attempts to inflict a 6 turn uh, choke and a 6 turn ice burn on the enemy, inflicting intellect over luck versus enemies and endurance over luck. Both status effects have a minus 20 penalty to their save as Mastercraft effect if in the armor or shield for the Winter Warden set. Then the value of the effects gets a 10% boost. Okay, uh, normally these will get 0 0.85 penalty due to not requiring a hit. But instead, the spell charges a further 30% melee HP cost. So, it charges 105 HP cost on top of 653 MP. I'm actually okay with this. And I think this is actually uh, pretty good because it doesn't need a hit. And then you can see uh, 6 turns of choke, 0 0.76. And then you have the burn. 137 not that good but better than nothing and then you can pair this with the alley round to make it stronger which is very nice okay so we can see 0 0.56 and the burn now does 260 it does fall off after a while so now it's 260 i think after the third round it stops being good uh let's see here 451 oh it's still good okay let's do one more power nine of course the alley round from the shield is helping out yeah, yeah, I think it's the early round from the shield. But anyways, this is a very, very good spell. And I think Anodyne or Sapphire has been asking for status bomb spells for quite a long while. Initially, I wasn't very sold on the idea of status bomb spells. But uh, nowadays, I'm really starting to see how good they are. Whereby they, uh, they are spells that deal little or no damage in exchange for that they inflict very very powerful effect so burn and choke obviously effects for defensive builds but i think this is also a very useful defensive spell to carry around if you don't like uh mandate because mandate is choke and blind and there's some overlap there this one you get damage and you get damage reduction so i honestly think this is better than mandate personally so i might go with this instead and yeah i really really am digging this spell okay so you can see mandate is Mandate, Mandate, Mandate is choke and uh, blind. Yeah, correct. Okay, so I didn't remember wrongly. So yeah, this one, I think it's good that they combine both an offensive aspect, which is the burn, 
Okay, even though it's damaged over a few rounds. And a defensive aspect, which is the choke. So that makes it a bit more useful for me compared to something like Mandy. I might switch this in instead. But we already have an Ice Spell and Santartic Crusher. I don't know. Maybe I'll carry two Ice Spells. Because I think this is actually a really good spell. Now, next item that we have on the list will be the pet Winter Warden's Abomina. I think you can just test this against Combat Practice Trainer. It's an ice pet, has two attacks you can toggle between, each having two hits. Default attack. Okay, uh, sacrifices. <coughs> damage to attempt uh, to inflict two turns of 20 times hits over 2% melee ice burn. Second attack. Also sacrifices half of that damage to attempt to inflict two turns of uh, choke. Both inflict charisma overlap versus mobs and endurance overlap. And have a minus 20 penalty to the save as mastercraft effect. If in the armor or shield of the winter warden set, then these effects gain a 20% boost. Okay, since they go from 20% to 24% melee, so 24 times it, blah blah blah. Okay, let's go ahead and test out the pet. The pet is gonna do the burn first. So, 1, 2... 72, not fantastic. Power 2, 1 round. Let's see how well it stacks on its own. Okay, uh, increases the power and refreshes the duration. That's actually not bad. Oh, we have the early bound from the shield helping out. But let's see how well it works together with the full set. Because Combat Practice Train only has one hit, so the early bound is not going to stack to ridiculous amounts. But yeah, you can see uh, the burn is starting to fall off. Now it's like 3.75. Now it's 3.88, so yeah, you only want to use this maybe like the first few turns just to get the burn going and then afterwards maybe swap to something else or swap to a different mode. Let's try the choke, okay, so the choke mode. Uh, 0 0.832, not amazing. 0 0.748, again, not really amazing. Third turn. 0.706, yep, it's getting worse. It's starting to plateau after like the third turn, something like that. 0.685, yep, it's getting worse and worse. But that's to be expected, I guess, for all stacking. Yep, so around the third turn, that's when the burn and your choke starts to fall off. So you only want to bring this pet out for at most 3 turns max to get the best use out of it. I think the pet is kind of lackluster. I do wish it could be a little bit better, but uh, it is what it is. It's, I don't think it's a bad pet because both choke and burn are useful effects, but the numbers that I'm seeing, I don't think they are really like fantastic or anything, okay? So if I use this with optical, I don't think it changes anything, but let's just see. <coughs> Only boosts the damage, right? Doesn't boost, yeah. I don't think the effects are based on damage either, so... Yeah, it's based off hits, so it's not based off damage. That kind of sucks. If it was damage scaling, you could use this with optical and be really good. I mean, you can still use this with optical for the potency, so you can inflict your burn or your choke a lot more easier, but uh, limited usefulness, I would say. The pet is kind of meh. Alright, and last but not least, we have the miscellaneous item. Oh, and then we have the weapon. Okay, miscellaneous item is the mountain pass globe. Okay, so let's look at it. Grants up to 50% damage reduction to the active element toggling between fire and ice. So you can only choose one element, unfortunately. Okay, so it's either fire or ice. And it's pretty standard in my opinion. And on top of that, it also gives you 10 all potents for 10% melee in SP cost. Using the weapon and shield of the Winter Warden set, this doubles to 20 all potents. It's very similar to the Devoured Miscellaneous item that we have for last year's donation contest. Except instead of toggling between a 20% damage boost, you get to toggle between a 50% resist to another element, which happens to be the opposite element. In my opinion, I think it's very meh. Like, uh, resistance and potency is good. Okay, but uh, the potency, first of all, if you're not using the full set, it's only plus 10. Okay, uh, which means that you have almost no reason to use this over optical in my personal opinion. But secondly, uh, how often would you use a ice shield with a ice weapon? You, you guys get what I'm trying to say? You need to use both the shield and the weapon to get the set effect. So if I take away the weapon, you can see it drops down back down to 10. How often do you use a ice weapon and an ice shield together along with an ice miscellaneous item? Very, very rare. So the 20 all potents is kind of wasted in that regard. And on top of that, damage reduction, that is like so standard. Literally, every almost every single miss 
has that nowadays. It was compressing both. Like if it uh, has both fire and ice together without it being a toggle, then yeah, I can see it being uh, kind of good. Okay, though I don't really remember off the top of my head of any monsters that does both fire and ice damage except for that Conan boss from, For from Frostvale almost like 10 years ago. But apart from that, uh, I mean, it's it's sort of like future proofing in case we get a and like maybe a fire shifters, yeah. So apart from that, I think it's good to future proof items maybe have both fire and ice resistance. Then I think that will make the miscellaneous items stand out more. Or alternatively, my personal suggestion would be to bump up the potency numbers instead, like maybe plus fifteen or plus 12 if using it alone and then uh, with it together you can have it plus something like 25 or 30 instead i think that will make it much better uh but maybe some people will call it power creep i don't really know i think 10 and 20 is not enough considering you need to be using unoptimal stuff assuming like standard assumptions like you wouldn't be using an ice weapon with an ice shield right so yeah that's what i feel about them miscellaneous item miscellaneous item and pet kind of meh all right now last but not least we have the weapon uh basher bombs and flail so the flail is the magic version basher is the melee version and then bombs we have your range version all three have a 0 0.1 base lean melee and range have a plus 3 bth lean magic has a minus 3 bth lean bombs are 100 proc with a two hit bow attack toggles between two modes by default just has regular damage but can click to lose 25% uh, melee in weapon damage and pay 25% melee in SP. Magic instead causes ice spells to lose 12.5% of the damage while this is active and pay 25% melee in SP. To attempt to inflict a 3 turn uh, choke and a 3 turn burn, ice burn on the enemy. Inflicting a weapon main stat over luck versus enemies endurance over luck. Both have a neutral save, okay? Magic version attempts these status effects when casting an ice spell rather than on weapon hits. While in status mode, the melee and range weapons give up their zero proc bonus or no true special bonus to have a percent chance to cause the status effects inflicted that turn to be 50% stronger. Chance is 32% for melee, 40% for range. Magic does not get this effect since you're not actually giving up your zero proc bonus when casting a spell. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's try for melee first. Gonna hide this, gonna hide this. Shield, you want... Okay. Okay, so... 25% weapon damage and 98 SP per turn. <coughs> Got the choke and the burn. Burn is kinda weak. Okay, at least it's stacking up, not bad. Oh, the choke also scales pretty fast. Ooh, both the choke and the burn scale pretty fast. Wow, okay, okay. Hang on a minute. Yeah, these are looking to be very... Oh my god, 0 0.1 already? That is crazy. Wow. Okay, that, that did take a few turns, but like, damn. Is there no cap or anything? That's crazy. Okay, of course, keep in mind this is combat practice trainer, so everything is going to be easily inflictable on this. Against a regular monster, you'll probably struggle to stack it that high, but wow, this is this is amazing. Okay, let's do Shadow Feeder. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, okay, Weapon Power Flash boosting status strength this turn. Oh my god, if you get that lucky one... Oh damn. One turn. 0 0.131 choke and power 9.3 burn. One turn with celerity. That is insane. And then it flares again. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow wow wow. This weapon is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Okay. And 32% chance is actually very high. Finally, we've been asking for uh status prop weapons or like prop weapons basically to do a bit more or be a bit better basically they've fallen off a lot because usually a high proc chance would mean a low power and like a low proc chance would mean a high power but you don't really want both of them because number one they are rng and number two when they go off usually it's not that great uh if they go off often enough so normally people prefer click skills but i think for this weapon they hit the mark okay this is what people want to see okay decently good proc chance and when it activates it's actually good 
Okay, like, ooh, very nice. <coughs> okay, flash boosting strength, and it's forty percent for the range version, so it's even higher than the melee version. Very nice. Unfortunately, magic version doesn't have this, which kind of sucks. I don't know what kind of stupid calculations they are using, but uh, whatever it is, what it is, I still think it's great for both melee and range version. Yeah. Magic users unfortunately won't be able to take full advantage of the effect, but uh, I still think it's decent. Let's test it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you need to cast spells in the magic version in order to make it work. Wonder does it work with spells that don't do any hits? I don't think it does. Yeah, the spells need to have hits, I think. <coughs> yeah, your spells need to have hits in order to toggle it. Okay. So it doesn't have the magic version doesn't have synergy with the spell because the spell doesn't do any hits. That kind of sucks in the sense that there's no synergy because this is its own set after all, right? But uh, it's also good in the sense that you don't need to rely on either weapon, so you can on either item, so you can actually use them separately. You can use the ice weapon on its own, and you can use the spell on its own, which I think is also a plus point. So there's pros and cons to doing it both ways, depending on how you look at it. Uh. The magic version is definitely a bit more lackluster compared to the range and uh, melee version. So I guess warriors and rangers, they get they are getting a bit more love this time around. I don't really like that the frost veil sets are based off around a certain build. I wish for them to be a bit more universal. Like the gift delivery set is obviously for rangers. Whereas for this frost veil box set, I would say... All builds can sort of use them. Like the spell, I don't know if there's a SP version of it. Not that I know of. Maybe you can convert it in the gift box com uh, in the account manager, but I haven't tried that out. Okay, weapon, uh, straight up is better for warriors and rangers. Shields is usable by everyone. It's basically another tropo shield. Very good. Armor, we haven't seen it yet. Pet is kind of meh. Miscellaneous item, kind of meh. Oh, in all very very good release this time around i'm pretty satisfied with everything so far and yeah i hope to see you guys on tuesday where we'll go through the armor because i really hope the armor opens soon and i'm very excited to see with that being said i hope you guys enjoy today enjoys uh today's lengthy adventure quest video if you have be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content i'll probably do some more showcases and other cool synergy that i can do with the items once i get them figured out so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below till the next time i'm your host carbine gaming peace out